Alright guys, I promised you I would upload my classic game, so I'm going to do that. Um, um, there's really not that much to say about these games. Um, as I'm sure you'll get that vibe from watching them, but uh, yeah. We're going to go ahead and do this quickly, because like I said, I made a promise, and I'm not going to break on it. So we're going to go ahead and just start the game. This is a DBP OU game. We're going to be doing it in this vid. I'll probably do DBP plus black and white. I'll upload the GSC game separately. So I am obviously this PVC show, and he is obviously Kevin Garrett. This is for classic playoffs. He's gonna leave it in Uxley, and I'm gonna leave it a flag on. The correct play here is just the U-turn out. Um, that's odd. It froze. Oh, never mind. It's okay. So um, I just U-turn out. I get some damage on it, and I'm gonna go out to my pad on. Um, Uxley is an interesting lead. It does not carry taunt. Instead, it's probably rocks and screens. So he's going to go ahead and set up screens as predicted and rocks as well. But I'm going to be able to get rocks up in return. Um, now, Uxy is going to probably you turn out here. Or, oh, wait. It gets to the other screen first, quite obviously. But it's going to get the second screen up. And now it's going to you turn out here to uh, whatever it wants to. It could be what, either something like a Breloom or a Stallbreaker or a Suicune. But it, it is actually a Breloom. And I'm just going to go for the Earthquake. Breloom is actually a big problem for this team, and I was hoping he wouldn't bring it, uh, but of course he does. So I'm going to go ahead and switch out the Clefable. Um, just looking at his team, I expect the Clefable to be the most useless Pokemon. So I'm going to let him spore it, because I figure this is a more physically based offensive team with stuff like Lucario and Dragonite. And he's going to go for the Focus Punch, and I'm going to go up to Gengar. Now, this Gengar actually has some HP in it, so normally it would be an okay check to Breloom. But considering he has screens up, that makes it kind of ash. Not that great, so I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball here on the Breloom. There's really no damage at all, and I'm gonna get the special defense drop, and he's gonna hit me with a C bomb, which is quite powerful, even with some HP investment in Gengar. So I expect him to switch here, um, and I go for the Wisp, uh, but it turns out he doesn't. I expected a Scizor or something like a T Tar, but instead he just goes for the C bomb, and there's quite a bit of damage to me. So we're gonna be seeing my Gengar going down, but his Breloom is gonna be taking a little bit of damage as well from that Shadow Ball now that I have dropped his special defense. So he's going to see bomb my Gengar. Uh, I'm really not feeling that hot right now. Um, but I do decide to go out to my Skarmory here, which... You know, now that I think about it, maybe it wasn't the smartest move in the book. I go for the spike. I probably could have went, just should have went for the Brave Bird, but I expect him to possibly have Magnezone as well. Um, because I remember Panamaxis used to seem very similar to this, and honestly, I was expecting a Magnezone in the back. Um, but I want to get Hazards up, and I know he cannot kill me with Focus Punch. Uh, unless, of course, he gets a crit, which he does. So my Skarmory is out of the game, thanks to that, uh, thanks to the Focus Punch crit. Um, so I'm really not feeling that hot right now. I go up to my Flygon, he decides to go out to his Oxy here. Um, I'm just gonna go over the Outrage straight out. Uh, I'm really not that, you know, I'm not in a good position at all. He can bring in pretty much whatever he wants and just decide to eradicate me completely because Flygon being locked into Outrage is pretty easy setup bait for any steal. He decides to bring in a Bronze on, which pretty much destroys him with the Gyro Ball. I just decided to go ahead and hit him with another Outrage since Flygon is basically dead. He's gonna go ahead and Gyro B, Gyro B, Gyro Ball me again and knock my Flygon out as I go to my Blast Mon, my Magnezone my biscuit and go for the teapot so i figure at this point in the game there's really no way i can win i figure it's completely impossible and he's gonna go with his gengar actually which um i just respond to by going to a powdown i was kind of expecting something like a water type in the, in the back as well so i really figured even if i can't beat the gengar i still can't beat the suicune or starmie or whatever or at least comfortably or maybe if clefable wakes up i can but we're just gonna see me slacking this off pretty comfortably because i am especially defensive about him and i don't care too much for the gengar's attacks he's gonna go over the pain split here and i'm just gonna go ahead and keep healing up I'm gonna speed this part up just a little because I, I think you all know what's gonna happen. He crits me with a Shadow Ball, and I actually return crit him with Ice Fang. But keep in mind, I believe if Powdom won this, well, it, I don't know if it won it, but I think it had a good chance of succeeding in the race regardless. So, um, yeah, uh, if Powdom, it probably could have lasted against Gengar and still been alive. Um, so I didn't really need Ice Fang crit, but his Shadow Ball crit really just destroyed me. Um, yeah, I get it, you know, we both crit him there, but let's be honest, I think a Powdown, well, if he Shadow, be, shadow Ball me enough to get my special defense drop, I guess it could have been a bit of a toss-up, but I don't know, I think I could have come out victorious, um, 
if I play my cards right, because if Ice Fang is doing that at a crit, it's probably doing about, what is it, 32-ish percent, and I think I have a decent enough chance with him using, you know, taking 16% every time he attacks, and the on doing, you know, taking 37%, so if he didn't get the special defense up, I could have beat him in that situation, but he reveals he has a Snorlax, and uh, I'm pretty much doomed here, I figure there's no way in hell I'm beating the Snorlax, and he has Earthquake, so voila, I'm actually a completely right there is really no way i can beat this norlax he is going to go ahead and just go earthquake again uh the only way i can potentially beat this is if cleverable somehow immediately wakes up or wakes up on this turn and what i managed to do is soft boiled stall him a bit and then get some damage on him with uh t-bolt and then hope his last loses the magnet zone but that's not going to happen i am going to just be asleep so i'm going to get a decent you know sleep on top of it well it wasn't really decent it was only two turns i guess but it could have been more and my only really way to win is hopefully crit him but i do not manage to crit him and that is the end of the game so i lose game one versus kevin garrett um so we're going to move on to the black and white game, which is actually the last game in the series, which I was really salty about. Um, I'm just going to, here, let me reset it so I get the team preview. Um, I, I'm doing this really quickly, guys. I'm sorry. I would have uploaded live today, but um, I'm really fucking tired. I'm on three hours of sleep right now, and I've been out all day, so I wanted to get this done tonight. I want to get it done rather quickly. So uh, I'm going to be running a rain offense team. I expected Kevin to bring a more balanced bulky sand approach but instead he decided to go for the all-out balance fucking in the ass counter which was uh i at least from the appearance he has probably a custap scarm a fast taunt jellison an sd chomp with yacha probably sd zor maybe a life orb kai and b and his alakazam which i'll admit as soon as i saw this matchup i i, I honestly considered forfeiting turn one i honestly was was going to just click x turn one because i didn't even want to fight like I, I saw the matchup and i knew that there was no way i could win this um so obviously he's gonna lead skarmory there's no doubt about that and i'm gonna leave my thunderous here i have u turn on this um so i am going to be able to force it out without it getting you know two hazards or whatever so that's okay but it's still not a good position for me because i can't get rid of hazards and with jellicent uh surprise surprise if you guys didn't know i actually have um a calm mind. I, this Keldy was actually sub calm mind, so this is a doomed game from the start because I cannot even physically touch Jellison. So, yeah, he's gonna go ahead and go out to his Chiron Black and tank the Politoed. Um, and I'm just gonna go ahead and with my Thunder, expecting maybe a double to Jellison, but that's not what happens. And I'm in a really bad place right now, as you guys can tell. He's gonna go with the Ice Beam and do quite a bit to my Furrowthorn. I'm really worried right here. I was hoping that I could get a decent roll on it, but uh, Furrowthorn is gonna go down to three ice beams i do manage to get rocks up but that doesn't really matter in the whole grand scheme of things i do decide to save my furrow thorn and go to my kelbio on the ice beam and kelbio a, a kyron is strong as shit guys by the way um but i'm gonna try and pull a move here because like i said there is really no way i can win this um and kelbio is really well i, I guess i could have went for it but i'm um, watch me just do this yeah he's gonna kill him with fusion bolt kevin doesn't care he probably knew he lived that secret sword so that was pretty dumb of me i guess um i probably should have went to um latios anyway so that was my fault uh that was not a great play by me that was kind of shitty i let my impulse get in front of me when i should have went to latios anyway because then i could have just draco something but as you'll see right here I do end up just going for the Draco Meteor C Saxus Skarmory. Um, it's going to kill it because this is Custav Skarm and this is Specs Latios. So, no matter the resist, it's going to knock it out. And he's going to respond to it by going Scizor. Um, so, like I said, maybe if I went to Latios there, I could have kept Thunderous, and Thunderous would have done okay against his team. So, that was in general, a, I guess, a bad play on my part. I should have considered that he knew that Leftover Secret Sword would not KO. Although, there was the off chance that he would conserve it for thunderous so yeah i don't know that was kind of dumb by me i should have completely just went to latios there i guess in hindsight that would have been much better but i'm gonna go out to keldio on the scissor which turns into be u turn variant u turn variant he's gonna go to his alakazam um i am just gonna sack the keldio here which really isn't that great of a play in retrospect actually you no, know, it didn't matter because kelio only acted as a fucking u-turn tank uh because i can't touch jellison anyway so i'm gonna go to my mezzanine my uh polytoad which is scarf quite obviously to hopefully scare it out um but i just end up missing the pump not like that really matters all that much anyway 
<sighs> but I'm just gonna go up to Furrowthorn here. And I'm gonna die to Earth Power. And Kevin pretty much has his game in the bag. I was really fucking salty over this game. He's gonna sack it here, the Kyrim, because obviously Kevin does not need the Kyrim B anymore. And, uh, or Chirim, whatever, how you pronounce it. And he's gonna go to Scizor, and he's pretty much just gonna clean it up here. He can just U turn out pretty freely. Um, yeah, he's gonna go to Jellicent, obviously in the Politoed, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much the game. I made a misplay, um, by going Thunderous, because Thunderous could have put in quite a bit of work if I played it correctly, but then I gave a Rocks on the field, and I kind of, it would have been hindered a bit. I would have been just spamming Thunders, probably, if I managed to get that, damn, I kind I, I feel kind of shitty now, because... If I Dracoed on that switch, this game could have. I don't think I would have won, but maybe it could have went out differently. So basically, yeah, this is pretty much it. The matchup was pretty horrific, um, and there's really nothing I can do about it. Uh, it's black and white after all. So yeah, I'm gonna go for the Psychic on the Garchomp. Um, I know this is game, and I know there's pretty much no way I can win. Um, I just keep going with a side shock there, and yeah, I know this is pretty much over. He's gonna go to Scizor. I was hoping this was not a SD variant, and it could have been maybe possible for Garchomp to come through, but it is gonna be a bulky SD roost variant, and Latios is gonna go down. So yeah, this is pretty much it, guys. This is the game. Um, I know that there is no way in hell I was gonna win this from the very start, but at least I gave it a good fight. I tried to play as well as I could, even though I kind of failed. In the and I just go for the Hydro Pump here in case he decides to stay in with Scizor or whatever and kill me with Bullet Punch. And uh, it doesn't matter because not like saving Polito would have been shit for me anyway. So the only chance I have here is if I somehow Swords Dance and have Dual Chop, which I don't. And I also would have to have Slack Berry, but he's just going to Scald and burn me anyway. So that's pretty much the game, guys. There's really not that much to it. Um... This was not a good matchup for me. This was not a good series for me because I pretty much just got, I, as you can tell, in, in DPP, I got bullshitted pretty badly. And uh, in black and white, unwinnable matchup. Uh, I remember some people were saying, oh, you forgot the ability that Tiger has Terra Volt. No, I expected him to go to Jellison on the Keldeo double. When in reality, going Latios there was a bit smarter. Well, if he went Jellison, yeah, I figured he, yeah, it would have been better if I went Latios because I don't think he was saving that anyway. So, in retrospect, yes, I made a misplay. I should have went Latios on that double instead of Thunderous. That was silly of me. But we all make mistakes, I guess. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I, I didn't enjoy the games because I got fucking eradicated in all of them because bullshit, but whatever. That's Pokemon for you. Uh, I'm really not that upset about it anymore. I'm, I sound more pissed off now because I'm really tired and I really didn't have anything else to do or to make a video about. So I figured I would do this. But uh, anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll probably be get pumping, pumping out a few more lives and maybe a battling 101 video uh, in, in the coming days because I do want to make sure that I get that battling 101 video out because I've been talking about it quite a bit, probably about DBP or maybe just prediction or some sort of aspect in general. But uh, anyway, Way. Now I can finally end the video. Thank you guys for watching. Like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. I'll probably upload the GSC game eventually. Peace.